forgetting. Okay. Just so you remember, I do. <laughs> That's the easy part. He gets a cue. You know, it's hard to believe, but the big day is tomorrow. Mm. Yep. And yep. our little girl will be a married woman. <laughs> I find myself reminiscing the night going back to the night before Isabel and I were married. What a beautiful bride she was. I can imagine. <laughs> I remember so vividly the sense that something magical was going to happen. Well, something did. You're still living happily ever after. Oh, oh. No, I, I know what you mean, Mr. Alden. Tonight in the church, we were walking through the ceremony with Father Jim. I... Ah, uh, well, don't laugh. Oh, we won't, honey. I just felt like God was looking down on us and giving us his blessing. Nice, nice. Huh? Stacy. I have been meaning to tell you all night. You look absolutely adorable. Thank you. Oh, Stacy, I'm so excited about your wedding. I guess it's because I'm uh, almost a bride myself. Oh, Mom, Dad, you know that Ava and Curtis are engaged? Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Stacy, when you and Jack get back from your honeymoon, we'd like to take care of dinner. That's nice. Oh, Jim, were we ever that young? You still are. It just reminds me of, of both of us when we were in Rome, and it just seems like such a long time ago. Uh, this is ridiculous. I, I guess I'm just one of those people who, who cries at the mere mention of a wedding. Well, weddings often generate rivers of tears, Shana, but fortunately, they are happy ones. Well, it's just the. Well, it, seeing two people go off on such a big adventure with such light hearts and not a care about what's lying ahead. Life is full of all sorts of different kinds of adventures, Shana. Some are perilous, some are full of rewards. Anne? You're so quiet over here. I hope you're not feeling bad. Because Dane's not here. Yeah. No, Mother, I don't miss him. Actually, I was watching Jack and Stacy with Ava <laughs> and feeling infinitely grateful that my son is finally marrying the right young woman. Tricia, I will not have you sitting here moping over that young criminal. Stop it, Mother. No, you stop it. Now, this is a joyous occasion for the family. Have enough class to join in rather than sitting here feeling sorry for yourself. Come. Torque. Ooh, Lenzer torts. Mm, this is a happy occasion, n'est-ce pas? Glorious. Oui? I just hope you and Ava never get this far. Well, one never knows. Curtis, I have my fingers crossed that you'll wake up and break off your engagement. Oh, gee. And I was hoping you were going to give us a shower like, like you did for Jack and Stacy. <laughs> no way. Curtis, I love you dearly. Oh. And hopefully we'll always be close, but Ava and I are just not cut out to be friends. Uh, oh, well. Excuse mm. us. We want to see what you have left behind. Not for... <laughs> much. We ate it all up. Excuse me. I got to go mm. talk to my family. How about this one, mm. Trisha? Uh, excuse me? Sure. Sure. Well, what's the matter? <sighs> Would you quit hanging out by Jack and Stacy so much? You're making me nervous. Oh, for heaven's sake. I was just inviting them out to dinner when they got back from their honeymoon. Yeah, well, don't get weak and spill the beans. I said I wouldn't, didn't I? I'm horrible about it. It's unfair that we can't share our happiness with everybody. Would you keep your voice down? Well, you two look like a couple of conspirators. Tell me, what are your deep, dark secrets? get a message to your pal, Spider. Carefully, you're interrupting my train of thought. I'm trying to decide between this blonde and this redhead. You tell him I know he went up to the school to bug Trisha and brought her flowers. Flowers? Spider? <laughs> Must be love, Stevie. <laughs> Listen, third bag. You tell Spider to keep clear for my girl. But the next time he comes close to flowers, he'll be at his funeral. You're a pretty big talker, ain't you? I see you're gonna be locked up in here for three to four years. Here, check these babes out. Leave the live ones to guys like Spider who can do something about it. Hey, hey, come on, come on! 
little girlfriend. Your little girlfriend ain't gonna be able to resist all Spider Smith. Buddy. What's the matter with you? One more fight and you're in solitary for sure. I don't care. No uh, deep, dark secrets here, Mumsy? We were just talking about taking Jack and Stacy to dinner after their honeymoon. Mm -hmm. How sweet. Curtis, will you do me a favor and talk to your sister? She's being absolutely hopeless today. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> Isn't it a lovely party, Ava? All that any bride could ask for. <laughs> Everyone's so delighted about Jack marrying Stacy. Isn't it a shame, Ava, that you'll never be the guest of honor at a party like this? What makes you think I won't? <laughs> well, I predict you will marry some clod from Milltown, and you'll have your rehearsal dinner at the local bowling alley. You would really die if I ended up marrying your son, wouldn't you? I don't lose any sleep over it, Ava. Curtis will dump you any day now. This says different. Oh, yes. Please do enjoy the ring, but um, face reality and be prepared to give it back someday soon. Are we crossing Ladies and gentlemen, in this case, friends and relatives, I have your attention, please. I'd like to propose a toast. Uh, now, as the best man, I have a very witty speech prepared for tomorrow, but tonight I'll just keep it short and sweet. Yeah! To Jack and Stacy, on the eve of their becoming man and wife, much happiness. I can't think of two people who deserve it more. Here, here. Very good. Uh, Stacy and I would like to make a little toast also, if we may. We would like to toast to all of you. It is such a joy to be able to share our happiness with the people we love. Here's hoping that there will be many more warm and wonderful occasions when we can all be together again. Well, you. Here. well, maybe not quite all of us. You talk about facing the real world. Let's see how you do. Excuse me, excuse me, everybody. I, I have something I'd like to add. In... In keeping with the spirit of this very happy occasion, I have some wonderful news I'd like to share with you. My darling Curtis and I were married this morning at City Hall. <gasps> we're now man and wife. We're very, very happy. We hope we have all of your blessings. Mm -hmm.